Hello everybody, Grace Still Plays, and we are checking out a game called Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. A game that probably needs no introduction. If you guys know, I've been waiting for this game for a long ass time. It is similar, or I should say, other games that we have played on the channel are similar to this, like Train Mechanic Simulator 2018 and Revhead. Think about those games, but then like inject them with steroids and enable them to cure cancer and cause male enhancement and like unprepared pregnancies and things like that. We got a sweet ass challenger RT over here. This game, I've messed around a little bit in it. It promises the world and it delivers quite a bit of it. Um, it is pretty freaking sweet. It says there's junkyards to get rusty cars from and fix them up. Auctions, over a thousand parts, tons of licensed real cars like Dodge Chrysler and all kinds of others. It looks good. now. I'm going to go right in the new game. We're going to go ahead and start up a profile. Gray still doesn't know crap about cars. That's pretty realistic for the most part. I end up learning a little bit because you guys typically know a lot about cars and everything else. And you end up telling me a bunch of stuff in the comments section, which I love. So this is kind of like the tutorial that you start with. You get to see the fully expanded shop right off the bat. And it's to just kind of give you a taste of the game. This is not what we're going to have. We're going to start in a sad, pitiful, busted up shop with like one eighth of everything here. Well, it's actually more like one tenth. So if you want, you can hover over all of the different items and it'll kind of give you a tutorial about what's what. But realistically, I kind of already did that. I messed around slightly in the game. I didn't want to ruin too much of it for myself. But I just kind of wanted to get through this so we can get right into the game and start doing things. Now, there are, supposedly, an infinite amount of missions. Like I said, there's auctions that you can buy beat up cars from and fix them up and sell them for fat loot. There's junkyards where you can find awesome finds. And if you want to and get like a little bit of knowledge of the game under your hood, that's a terrible pun. If you want to get a little bit of the game's knowledge imprinted in your cranium, you can mess with this car as much as you want, rip it apart and all that, but we're going to get into the main bulk of the game. So in order to do that, we have to go for a test drive. Again, look at this friggin' place. It makes me so sad that all this is about to go away. There's a detailing kit over there. We've got friggin', uh, well, there's the detailing kit right there, actually. There's uh, path testers and friggin' battery chargers. we got a loft up here with like a fake ass PlayStation 4 or whatever, a friggin' sound system. I mean, this place is legit and you can have this as long as you work your way up to it. You get three car bays over here, three lifts. It looks cool. Let's go ahead and start though. Let's do our test drive to get out of the tutorial and get into the main part of the game. So here's the map. Now only two things are open to us right now, the garage and parking. Uh, there's a car salon, the test track. Oh, actually the test track, that's true. The junkyard, which I really want to see this. Car auctions and the racetrack. Let's go over to the test track. We're going to go ahead and grab the bolt cape. We're going to grab this guy over here. Do a little bit of the driving around. Actually, I'm going to do that off camera just because it's basically just me like driving, doing acceleration tests and stuff like that. And the main bulk of the game is supposed to be fixing cars and trying to not get tetanus. So let's get into that in just a minute. All right, I did some things. I'm going to come to a stop and the car passed. Fantastic. Finish tutorial, start the game. Yes, please. And thus, we are treated to our actual garage. Not the monstrosity, multi-level greatness that we had, but this. This sad, busted up, dimly lidded place. Actually, the lighting in here is really good. So first things first, you have a couple things that you can do. Right click to get a whole bunch of crap over here if you want. Orders, inventory. This is kind of like the way to easily get around the shop without having to go to everything. Uh, but you still can if you want to. We have a couple of tools, I think. We got a spring puller over here, obviously our toolbox. If you are a big fan of music, by the way, there is a ton of it. You can go over to radio, you can change the station, and look at all this crap, man. Killer rock! Classic vibes. State of house music. Mixer room. There's a lot of stuff here. I'm just gonna leave it where it is right now. This is actually pretty cool. I like it. I feel, uh... I feel empowered by it. We do have some tools, so it's not that bad. Actually, we keep this place pretty looking pretty spick and span. Let's grab some jobs and start making that cash. Now, where the hell's the phone at around here? This is my place and even... All right, here we go. So over here by the phone, we are treated with a couple of missions. We have Kat Katagiri Katsumoto. If we click on it, it'll kind of say, brake system needs fixing. Oh, well, that's actually pretty simplistic. Repair with minimal parts condition of 61%. All right. 
And then we have Edmund Lotz over here. A year and a half ago, I bought my son this car. He said he's not interested in anything except filling it up at the gas station. Please check the oil in the tires. Okay. Let's, um, so this one is specifically, and if you see it's highlighted here, this is specifically about the brakes. So let's do this. Mileage, 166,000 kilometers on it. No bonus for it, but whatever. We'll take this order. So we have to make sure everything meets at least 61%. Let's freaking do it. All right, Katsumoto. First things first, we got to bring his ride over here. Go ahead and click on it. We can move the car. Let's go ahead and move it over to the car lifter because that's the way that we're going to get at all the brakes. Doesn't look too bad. Well, when I say too bad, it looks like he's been leaving it outside near friggin' Minnesota or something like that. All, this, all the road salt is eating away at this bitch. Lift her up, baby. Let's get these wheels off and see what the brakes look like. All right, so we just kind of get down low. Click on in here. Go ahead and move on this way. You, it's weird. You kind of move with the uh, WASD keys, and then you hold down on the left-click mouse button to kind of do everything. Oh, yeah. I love the sound of bolts getting ripped off a vehicle. Wow. What the hell did you do to these brakes? I'm afraid to touch this thing. Put your gloves on, boys. No lock jaw today. All right. Um, so we can right-click over here to do our testing or examination mode. That is very, very much like Train Mechanics Simulator 2017. But again, I mean, this there was many incarnations of this game. So this is kind of the, uh, the first... Let's check out the brake calipers. All right, you know what? This, this stuff doesn't look that bad. 64%, 74%. It just looks like the brake disc is all jacked up. How about deep inside of here? We got 72%. That's not bad. And, I mean, I guess we could check the axle, although I don't really think that there's really a reason to. 69%. Okay. So, the disc over here is what's really, really messed up. So, we're probably going to go ahead and rip that off. I'm going to check... I'm going to check the cylinder back here. Uh, cylinder's looking... I mean, it's not great, but it's not as bad as everything else. How about the knuckle cover? That yeah, knuckle cover's fine, too. All right, man. Shouldn't be too much wrong here. So let's go ahead and pull off the disc here. Again, we'll go over to our part unmount, and it'll tell you if you need to remove something. So see right here, we have to go ahead and remove probably the caliper. Here we are. Point you right out to the bolts. Go ahead and crank those off. I would say the pad would come next, more than likely. Here we go. And now we can take the ventilated uh, brake disc off. All right. So you can see it'll show you, it'll show you pretty decently where there's a lot of like problem and rust and stuff like that. So everything else looking pretty damn good. Let's go hit the other tires and do the exact same thing. God in heaven. Have you been driving around like this? Well, actually, that one's not that bad. It looked pretty bad, but I guess it's actually not that bad. Look at this. Everything over here is surpri in surprisingly good condition. Wow, even the brake pads. You would figure the brake pads would be jacked, man. All right, that's fine, though. Ooh, I can actually get deep in here and examine this without taking anything off. That's pretty sweet. So right now, it's looking like there's just one instance of the brakes that were in bad enough condition to the point where we have to fix it. So this looks like it's going to actually be a pretty damn quick job. Oh, I was wrong. We got a brake disc over here that's looking like crap. All right, hold on. Let's go ahead and rip the old tire off here and get... Deep at the heart of the problem. Oh, this this freaking this garage is gonna be the best. Oh, the caliper looks like crap too. Uh, yep, the caliper is crap. Oh, the condition is zero. That is not good. How about the brake pads? Brake pads are wow. The brake pads are so in surprisingly good condition compared to everything else. All right, that's fine though. You're coming with me, caliper. You freaking problem child. Now, when you get the right workbench. You can go ahead and fix parts up. We don't really have that yet, so we have to kind of do this the old-fashioned way. All right. So, out of all the parts that are all jacked up, I think we can go over here to our parts menu and check them out very specifically over in inventory. So we have a brake disc ventilated, another brake disc, and then everything else. Oh, and one brake caliper that is absolutely shot. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab one ventilated, one regular, and one caliper. Over here at our computer... We'll find everything we need. Let's go over here to the main shop. And I think there's a search engine. Oh, there sure is. So, calipers, where are you? Brake caliper. I would like uh, one of these, if you please. Thank you very much. And now we're going to need uh, one ventilated brake disc for 100 bucks. Okay. I'll spend some money for it. And then a regular brake disc. The non-ventilated kind. And we should be good to go. All right. 
Now, I assume that the items are simply just immediately added into our inventory. I would assume anyway. Oh, and if it's anything like previous, we should be able to sell the stuff that we don't need. Yep, for 19 bucks. I'll take anything I can get right over there and <laughs> zero money for that one. Okay, well, fair enough. Let's go back over here. Let's go over to assemble mode and put everything back on. Go over here to part mount and we're ready to go. There's our ventilated disc. Gonna grab the 100 percenter. Yep, throw it on. Oh, that is shiny and friggin' hot. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Brake pads. Brake pads are still in okay condition. Caliper, I'd love it if uh, you could have a seat as well. I'm gonna put all the good stuff over here in the front. There we go. Uh, yep, I sure am. Let's go ahead and crank it all down and make it happen, boys. The sound of power tools in the morning. Is there anything more beautiful? Anything in this world at all? Rim, get on there. Tire as well. There's our air ratchet doing its thing, and we are set on the first piece. Now, if you remember, I kind of messed the, I screwed the pooch on this one here. We didn't even need to take this off because 61% is all the, is all the guy wants, and I think 63 was where we were at over here. So there we go. We go ahead and fix that up. And now one last uh, piece over here on the passenger side. Let's go ahead and mount her up. Not the suspension arm. Brake disc, thank you. There we go. 100 percenter. Very good. Brake pads. I think you had a decent set of brake pads. Yeah, they're not too bad. 74%, no big deal. Crank everything down. Looking good. Throw on the tire. Yep, all that if you please. And we should be done with this mission, I think. Pretty sure anyway. I don't know if there's a timer on this or what. I know there's like rush orders and stuff, or at least I think there is. Bring the car on down. Let's see here. Is there anything else that we need to do now? Car status. Fix, fix, fix. Total payout, 326 bucks. All right, very good. Money spent, $218. Eh, I don't know if we really made that much money, but I'll go ahead and take it. There we go. One order fixed, and we got 100 more bucks. Now, we finished the job, but there's something I'm very curious about. Let us go over here to the main gate. And remember, we have stuff like the junkyard, which I don't know if we can go to yet. We also have car auctions over here, which we can't seem to go to yet. Let's check out some of the upgrades over here by the toolbox. 50% faster parts examination, okay. 50% faster screwing and unscrewing. Oh my God, that would be useful. Part installing, 10% faster walking, all right. 5% discount. Expands your garage, adds a path test and a repair table to your garage. Ooh, that is really, really good. Oh, I'd love to get that. Oh my God, how much stuff is there? Whoa, okay, yeah, so there's, um, there's a little bit of stuff. What is over here? Oh, cheaper trips, trips to the junkyard, oh man. Unlocks tire tread tester. Instantly examine three parts. Unlocks the tablet. Oh, there's so much cool stuff over here. Successful repair raised by 50. Oh, raised to 55%. All right. Let's keep getting XP then, man. The only way to get XP is to do it to it and get more jobs and more stuff done. Over to the phone, damn it. What else do we have? Edmund Lotz over here. He just wants the uh, tires checked and the oil. Or we can do this over here. Poor brake performance. We already did some brakes. So let's uh, let's do this one over here. You want tires and you want oil. Fair enough. Man, all you want is uh, all you want is tires and oil. This is uh, I'm not gonna lie. This, this ride looking a little beat, man. I, I see a little bit of a uh, wear through on the paint over here with the old rust. That's fine though. Let's go ahead and move it over to the lift. Where else can you put it? Oh, over in parking. That's kind of interesting. Over to the lift. Let's go ahead and bring it up real quick. There we have it. Check the oil here. Pop open the hood. You know how it goes. And by pop it open, I mean rip it out. And we should have a dipstick over here if we look nice and close. All right, here we have the dipstick over here. Let's go check it out. Um, well, the oil doesn't look bad. I wouldn't say that's terrible at all. Yeah, that'll be fine. All right, so oil's doing okay. Very good. And now you want to check the tires. Oh. Never mind, I don't need to check the tire tread because it's at 10 freaking percent. Wow. Hmm. All right, let me go ahead and rip you off real quick. You guys don't care about your brakes, all you care about is the tires. So I guess the tires are a coming off. How about, oh, 12 percent. Hmm. Man, this kid was riding this thing around freaking bald. Zero percent. I never thought I would see anything quite this horrifying. Zero percent on this tire. 
an accident waiting to happen. It's a good thing that you contacted us when you did, sir. If you didn't, your son would probably crash and die. But luckily, the old shop de la Grey is gonna take care of everything. 15%, so this is the best tire. 15%, this is the best tire this kid had on the car. We're gonna need all four tires today, boys. We're gonna need all four tires today. Actually, I think there's a tire shop. If we go back here in our web browser, yep, right over here, tire shop. Standard tire, B, off-road tire. Oh crap, I don't know what kind of tires this guy had before. Let us check that out briefly in our inventory. Turns out he had standard tire B. That damn standard tire B. All right, let's go ahead and grab four of those real quick. Total price, 1200 bucks. Holy God. All right, oh, you know what? We need to make sure that our size and everything is correct. All right, we want 205, 55, 16. We're gonna need all four for $1,880. Oh my God, but whatever. And he said just the tires. We're gonna have to use the, towel ch the tire changer. Separate the tire from the rim. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that a whole bunch of times. Yep, let's go ahead and separate that right over there. There's our tire changer doing its thing. I told you guys, I don't know everything there is to know about cars, and by everything, I mean I know pretty much nothing. Let's go ahead and grab the old tire off of there. Oh, we're gonna balance it too. That's gonna be interesting, okay. Just separating tires, boys. Nothing to see here. Tire separator is working fantastically. So they were saying that a lot of stuff is photorealistic now. You can take pictures and stuff of custom cars. There's gonna be friggin' mod support. Well, actually, there is mod support day one, they said. So I am real interested to see that. So people will be able to have their own cars. So maybe I'll be able to get my, uh, my Dodge Durango RT in here, huh? Maybe I can fix that thing up. Just do what we did before, only in reverse. Because that's how we do. Putting tires on rims, looking pretty sweet. Very good. Do that four times over. All right, now let's not do a half-assed job here. Let's go ahead and balance these tires. All four of them. Put them down over there, looking good. While that's going to balance, I wonder if I can, um... Like, I can see the new orders, but I doesn't... I, I'm very curious. For brake performance, brake system. Man, what's with everyone's brakes, man? I'm gonna be fixing brakes out the friggin' wazoo. I don't know what the deal is. You all balanced over there? Looking balanced. All right. All right. Tires are set. Let's go ahead and put them back on. Rims are looking good enough. Tires are looking freaking sweet now. Everything's good and balanced. Although I will say, when I was balancing it, it didn't really like do anything. Like it didn't mention, it wasn't like, oh, good job, great, you balanced the tire, good for you, and there have you. It didn't do anything like that. So I'm kind of curious if it actually like legitimately did anything for the purposes of the game. So I found out, you right click over here, and we go to, where is it, car status. Showing it needs an air filter that they want fixed and a fuel filter. But not only that, it says change oil, drain old and refill with new. So even though it has oil in it, they want it drained, they want new oil in. So that's fine. Let's go ahead and grab our oil drain over here. Got to crank this baby up all the way so we can get underneath it. There we go. So can I move this over here? Yep, car lifter A. Very good. Now we should be able to work on this. Use equipment. Ah. Look at that, it's like black tar heroin, baby. That's not what we want at all. All right, now that we have fresh new oil in it, let's go ahead and I guess we don't need this anymore. I'll move it uh, back to where it was. Then we can go ahead and lower this down and put a little bit of oil in it. Now, if you check the dipstick, ain't got crap in it. Good, that's what I like to see. Over here by the oil fill plug, a little bit of oil never hurt anyone. There we go, yeah. Now, I don't know how quickly the oil comes out in this game, so I have no idea how much it really needs. Let's go check the dipstick over here. How much oil did I put in? Uh, right in the middle. Wow. Okay, good for me. So that's pretty much perfect. Now, let's check out to see if that was uh, good enough for him. Over here by car status. Yep. Okay, good. So now, just the air filter and the fuel filter. No problem. Let's freaking do it. Over here by the air intake. We're going to have to rip this off real quick. Take off dem clips. Got some clips in the back over here. These need to come off as well. Where's our music at, by the way? All the music's gone. I gotta turn on the friggin' music. Air filter, 0%. Wow. Okay, yeah, you really need to fix that. And then you can see the jacked up fuel filter way back over here. All right, I will fix that up for you in a jiffy. So one air filter, one fuel filter, and we should be good to go. Look at this freaking computer. It's like we got a freaking computer from 1991. This is what happens when you start off with a shitty shop. All right. 
Over here, uh, interior license plate, everything should just be in the main area. So let's just, actually I'll just type in filter. Because that should have, all, oh my god, that's a lot of filters. Alright, air filter. One of those if you please. And then a nice fuel filter. I'm just going to, oh. I found it. Right here. I was almost just going to do it the old fashioned way. But I managed to get it. Alright, let's install him and get this guy out of here. Uh, let's see, over by the air intake. Part mount. Air filter for you, good sir. Yes, you do get the 100% one. Don't you worry, I'm not going to screw you out of your money. Air filter cover. Couple of clips go on here. Right over there. And a fuel filter. And that should be it, man. 100%er. Yep, there we go. Okay. Uh, let's check the car status now. Car status is green. We did good for everything. Oh, man. Money spent $891. Task bonus $845. Job bonus $435. Yeah, see, we probably missed something on our last job. That was... Oh, there's body parts missing. Oh, it's the freaking hood. And hood goes on. There we go. Okay. Now the car should be all in one piece. Let's go check the car stats. There we go. Oh, yeah. Now we're making that cash. Now we're making that cash. What else do we got on our orders over here? All right. So we got brake performance. Brake system needs fixing. Which one should we choose? Uh, let's go. Let's do this one over here. We'll do this one real quick. Man, more brakes. It's like no matter where you go, more and more and more brakes. Our XP is going up pretty good, though. Let's go over into the car status right away. Brake calipers. Okay. Disc caliper pads. Oh, and that's it? All right. Sounds pretty easy, actually. Looks like there's an overview mode we can click on. And when I, when I clicked on it, I could see right there. We got a problem child over here. So driver's side front. And I think it says passenger side back. Yep, passenger side back, right over there. All right, very good. Let's go ahead and move it on to the lift and get her going. Already digging deep into here, and I think I found the heart of the problem. Freaking brake calipers are at 21%. That's awesome. What are the pads at? I'm just curious over here. Oh, the pads aren't bad at all. All right, very good. Now, let's check this area over here. Now, supposedly over here was the rest of the issue. Let's go uh, get this tire and rib off real quick. And I think I can already see... Many of the issues. Now, we need better than 49%. Yeah, wow, the brake pads are shot over here. So we got 19% over here on the caliper. You get the hell out of there. Brake pads are at, yep, 29%. Let's go ahead and remove those. And we have one brake disc that's all jacked up. And that should be everything in one shot. Let me just double check over here. We've got caliper, disc, caliper, pads. Got it. This is weird. Is it just me, or do I have a lot of stuff in my inventory that I probably shouldn't have? Um, alright, no big deal. You know, sometimes you buy a caliper and you get like 400 of them. But what's, what's, the, what's the big problem for the most part? Let's, uh, let's get down here and uh, throw some calipers on, I guess. Holy crap. Oh, yeah. Goes on like a friggin' dream. Like a dream. It smells like money. You may think it smells like rust, but it actually smells like money over here with the disc now do i have a decent disc oh i don't have a decent disc okay so we do have to buy something um that's fine let's go over to our craptastic computer from the friggin stone age over here we do need uh one break disc if you please looks like a regular type so let's go ahead and purchase that right there for 70 bucks 70 bucks is no big deal. We're rolling in the money now. Well, sort of. Uh, and we do need brake pads as well. Okay, so we had duplicates of a lot of stuff, but we didn't have duplicates for the uh, the pads and that one disc. That's kind of interesting. So let's go over here to brake pads. There's only one type. Voisey price. Whatever. Got a monopoly on freaking brake pads over here. What a bunch of crap is that? Now let's get back down in here and get this taken care of. ASA freaking P. There we are. Brake pads, if you please, go on nice and smooth as you do. Brake calipers, we should have like 4 billion of those. Yep, we sure do. Uh, brake cylinders, fine. I would like to install that. Couple of bolts to ratchet on. There we go. And now just a tire. And with a stroke of the magical freaking air tools, I think we're going to be making stacks. All right, let's get out of here and check out our car status. How we looking, baby? Yep, good, 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 good. Everything's good. Couple of bucks. We got very, very little bit of task and job bonus, but that's fine. Uh, and we made a couple of bucks afterward. All right, finish it up. There we go, man. 
So we've already started. We have... Ooh. Hold on. Can we upgrade something? Go over here by my tool set. Yes. We have a point. We have a point to upgrade. 50% screwing and unscrewing. Okay. Or faster part examination. I want the screwing right there. Let's buy it. I love to screw. You guys know. Although, I don't know if I want to screw faster. Anyway, what do you guys think? Of Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Oh my god, we just barely, barely scratched the surface of this. Like, barely in any way. There is so much here to do. We already have plenty of more jobs, and we haven't even gotten to the junkyard yet. We need to get to the junkyard. Oh, Katsumoto's back! With brake performance. I read in the newspaper that timing should be replaced more frequently than recommended by the manufacturer. The oil, too. Please check them and change out uh, whatever is needed. That's what I like to hear. Do whatever is needed. That's where the stacks come from. Guys, feel free to let me know in the comment section below what you think of Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>